Uh, Thomas Sellers Jr. here with our 2023 Male Athlete of the Year with Milton star Jace Hodgman. Congratulations. You're joined by his parents, Rico and Miss Candice. So uh, congratulations goes to y'all as well because nobody makes it here on their own. But how does it feel to have that honor and distinction and be added to our list and our lineage? Oh, it's, it feels great. It feels unreal. Very, very, I have a lot of gratitude for it. So. And when we talked earlier, you mentioned God. And you said he was with you throughout all of this. You had some ups and downs this year. Football season. Everybody hyping monthly. This is teams loaded, this and that. You were the home run threat in your junior year. Aubrey would get to pound the ball, and here comes 17. But we weren't number two this year. Man, big expectations. Then the shoulder separation comes. What were you thinking? Oh, uh, it was a. Uh... It hurt me because, you know, I grew up playing football and I wasn't going to be able to finish out my last year, but I knew I had track coming up. So I was just resting my shoulder, and as soon as it was ready for me to start working out again, I tried to get my shoulder strength back, my arm strength back, went to work, got ready for track. Too, so. yeah, you were there still rooting on your brothers in, in, in that uniform. To see them go undefeated, third region championship in a row, how did that feel? I was, I was very proud of them because... Uh, yeah, they're all my brothers, so it's like they're like family to me. So yeah. there was a guy that you shared a field with at Montford over the years that wasn't like family to you. He was your family. They call him Ice. How did it feel to share the back, the defensive backfield with your brother all those years, and y'all wore that uniform and you know laid out some people, all that good stuff? How did it feel with being out there, big brother? Oh, it was great. Uh, being able to hear our last names being called all the time. <laughs> Yeah. He he got he would get a tackle or I would get a tackle. They call our names out. They know they they know the Hodges brothers out there on the field. They they be scared of us. So <laughs> <laughs> I know that has to make a dad proud. The the boys out there. Absolutely. How, how did it feel seeing them out there controlling that backfield, that defensive backfield? I oh, just it gives you something to look forward to all the time. It makes you feel good, not just as a parent, but um, as a fan. Uh, so yeah, it was nice. It was. I loved, I loved it. I, I miss it already. Oh. Uh, so absolutely, it was, it was a wonderful thing. Mom, um, seeing your boys out there, how did it feel? Um, it was awesome. Mostly like nerve wracking <laughs> as a mom, yeah. <laughs> but I really enjoyed watching them play together. Okay, yeah, so, for sure. So the, the boys grew, grew up playing sports and all that, and, and Jason's little brother. He's always known his little brother for all that, but he's starting to carve his own niche. So I'm bring it back to you. Track, a sport that you picked up, put it, put aside. Then your junior year, you decided to go back out for track. Again. Who made you do that? Uh, it was mainly Coach Cahoon that pushed me to do track, but I, I was very glad that he made me do it. So football coach is telling you to go out there for track. Okay. He, he said it would make me better out there on the field, so I was like, okay, I'll go try it out. And I ended up enjoying it, so I stuck with it. And. Uh, Worked out for the best. So Coach Walters and Coach Ivor thanking God that you came out <laughs> for the track team as well. And Coach Walters looks at you and says, hey, Decathlon. You're like, what is the Decathlon? <laughs> Talk about how that came to be. Uh, well, when I first started track, so Coach Walters already knew I could run because he was a commentator for football. So he already knew I was athletic. And then he, uh, he tried when I first started going to track. He tried me out on a bunch of different things to see what I was good at, and he figured out that I was somewhat good at everything. So he was like, "You need to do the calf on," and I didn't know what it was at the time, but I'm glad he made me do it. So you got, so you got this little cheat sheet, breaking out all ten events, and sitting next to you in your classroom is another guy that's like, "What, Christian Perez?" I, you didn't know that that was going to be your toughest competition oh, yeah. throughout the y'all pushing each other. Your second place, he's first place at the state. How did that moment feel? Oh, it felt great. I was uh, happy for him, of course, and uh, I was still happy for myself because second place in the state is still good. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was told him, I said, be ready because I'm going to be at the same place you are next year. So, so the ghost of Christian Perez, okay, we got this shoulder that was like, we're going to hold off on surgery because I got a mission. And then you're fulfilling your destiny and you get up there to the decathlon. And everybody knows who you are. They're coming for you, but those young men up there didn't know that you were chasing the ghost of Christian Perez. The promise that you made that you're not only going to get first place, you're going to beat his record. He did that. How did it feel when that moment was coming? Oh, I felt very proud of myself because I, I knew what it took for me to get that to that point. So um, as soon as that thing ended, you know, I called Perez up, let him know. <laughs> I beat him. Yeah. yeah, he was happy for me. And, uh, 
I'm if it was if he wasn't there, if I wasn't trying to beat his his record, I don't think I probably would have done as good as I did. Wow. So all props to Perez. Yeah, three people walked off that field that day with fifteen hundred point totals, but George was the best. Dad, how did it feel that someone from second to first fulfilled his promise to himself and achieved all those goals and that the cast won that? Well it was a little nerve wracking knowing that so Honestly, we thought we expected him to be first all year, but then we towards towards the end we found out he wasn't first. Yeah. So to to see that he he knew that he wasn't first going into that, and to see what he he knew what he had to do, and he accomplished those things to see him do that and push himself to make sure that he finished where he wanted to finish, which was obviously the champion. It was it. I think that was better seeing him having to do that than automatically going in as first, yeah. knowing he's going to win first, seeing him having to come from behind to, to make sure and prove to himself that he is who he is, made it that much much more that Getting much that better. hunger, you know, yeah. having something to fight Absolutely. for. Mom, when, how did you feel seeing him achieve that goal, knowing that he's the underdog coming into it? You know how he, he likes that pressure. How did it feel when you see him standing and that number one's underneath his feet? It just made me happy to, for him to be able to finish his senior year and on, on such an awesome note, something he can be proud of. Because football didn't work out like we wanted. It was really, really hard seeing him be, have that disappointment not being able to finish out the season with all his friends like that he calls family. Yeah. That was really hard, like, taking him home from the doctor and mm. knowing his season was over. So we had track was like the highlight. Like, so it just made it even better to know that he went out there and so everybody came just out on top. Everybody in your support system bought into we going to make track special. And it ends, mom's a little premature. It ended with a 4 by 2 gold medal. Yes. The first leg, your last event is a month of cooler. You go out on top. and But once again, pressure's on you. You got to start off every time against Merrill. All those teams from Memphis that have been chasing y'all all season. You got to get everything off right. And you did. How did that feel? Oh, it felt, it felt great because... Uh, I was very nervous going into it, you know, I had all the adrenaline pumping and that gun went off and I knew what I had to do, so. Thank God you didn't fall start. So yeah, I'm, just, I'm running, I felt, I felt great when I was running, so I mean, I did what I had to do and my teammates did what they had to do and we came out on top, so. Wow. Dad, how does it feel to be sitting next to the Catalina champion for the state of Tennessee and the gold medals in the 4 by 2 just proud. I mean, it's very simply, it's just, you're very proud to, to be a parent. You're very proud to see him, um, to see him accomplish what he knows he can, what you prove to yourself, not necessarily having to prove to others. He's always proved to himself that he is who he knows he is, and that's a champion. And it's, it's very proud. It's very proud as a, as a dad. It's very, it, 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 it makes you as a, as a parent, hold your head up even higher, uh, seeing them hold their head up high. So it's, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. And Mom, I'm going to throw this question at you. You've seen the young man grow up, and, and you know how much admiration he has for you, because he said he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all's support. What would you say back to him as what's going to be his legacy when it's all said and done? Because he's quiet. He never say, hey, look at me, rah, rah, rah. rah. <laughs> well, uh, well, from what I've seen. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, he's definitely not a showboat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was in it to have fun with his friends. And so he's just happy to be here and have that I guess his legacy is that he just did the best he could. I mean, he's a natural athlete, and he did the best he like, He just was awesome. He shined, and everything he did, so I'm proud of him. Wow, that's the exact answer he gave me out there a second ago when we did the uh, interview for the fact. He just, you know, did his best. He went out there and did his best, and his best has left some records and some marks that folks would chase for forever at Marvel High School. Yeah, you might not have the, the gout, the, 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 the glamour that a lot of other ones have, but they can't deny it when they look at the record book in football and in track that Jace Hodden brought to Monfort High School. But lastly, in our animals at the Mills and Stars, you are now one of our athletes of the year. I ask you again, how does that feel? It feels great. Uh, I know what I had to do to get to that point, so I'm proud of myself and thankful for my parents because they pushed me to be who I am today, so very grateful. And, um, you got to do a lot of chasing Big Brother, Christian Perez, and others. 
but you're being watched by ones coming up behind you. And um, so they might break your records and stuff down the line. So, so but hey, you set a high standard and we're proud of you. And, and man, it's our honor to present you with this Nuts and Star Award. And thank you all for your time and thank you for your time as well.